most fire sprinkler heads include a frangible glass bulb that is color coded to indicate their nominal operating temperature. This video shows the operating temperature corresponding to each color and typical examples of where they may be used. Hi, my name is Russ Porteous and I'm the CEO of Firewise. We help building owners, managers and occupiers to design, install and maintain fire safety systems to keep people and buildings safe from fire. We also produce a range of videos to help answer your burning questions about fire safety. A conventional sprinkler head is a type of valve that controls the flow of water to stop a fire. Unlike conventional movie wisdom, not all sprinkler heads operate at once, except for deluge type fire sprinkler systems used in special hazard applications, where the sprinkler system is designed for all of the sprinkler heads to activate at the same time. Check out the image on the right for an example of the visible differences between a conventional sprinkler head and a deluge sprinkler head. There are five key components of a standard sprinkler head. These are the frame and its orifice, the thread, the plug, the glass bulb, and the deflector. The liquid in a frangible glass bulb of a sprinkler head contains either glycerin or alcohol mixed with a dye that indicates the activation temperature of the sprinkler head. There are seven common colors that describe the activation temperature as shown in the illustration on the right. The most common color you might see is red, which has a nominal activation temperature of 68 degrees Celsius or 155 degrees Fahrenheit. This is the most common color for below ceiling applications in buildings. Generally, the temperature rating of a sprinkler head should be at least 30 degrees above the expected ambient temperature in the area where the sprinkler head is installed. In addition to glass bulbs used as part of a sprinkler head, another option you might see is a fusible link. A fusible link is a two-part metal element that is fused together by a heat-sensitive alloy. These sprinkler heads operate when the ambient temperature reaches or exceeds the activation temperature of the alloy. When the alloy melts, it releases the valve assembly. The operating temperature of these sprinkler heads is normally etched or embossed into the sprinkler head and may also be indicated by the same color system as used for glass bulb type sprinkler heads. If you'd like to learn more about sprinkler systems or their maintenance, then please check out the link in the description or shown below. If you've reached this far in the video, thanks for hanging in there. This video forms part of our answers to burning question series about fire safety. If you found this video informative, please hit the like and subscribe buttons to be notified when we publish new videos. If you need personalized support or specific advice, then send us an email to hello at firewise.com.au or call 1300 308822 and a friendly member of our support team will be there to help you.